Welcome to the Phoenix Gold Golf and Country Club. We're here for the second consecutive year for the running of the Thailand Ladies European Championship. It's the second year that it's been run at Phoenix, so obviously both associations love coming back to the course. But more importantly, it'll be interesting to see how the ladies who have traveled so far from Europe have found the golf course, the facilities, and the general welcome here at Phoenix. I'm delighted to be joined this afternoon by Amy Baldwin from North Wales. And Amy's just finished her third round this year, having played here last year. First of all, Amy, thank you so much for giving your time to, to uh, speak to us. And uh, congratulations, because out there is not easy today, is it? No, it's, uh, it was tricky out there. The greens seem to be a little bit firmer today than yesterday and the, last, the day before that. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying the course. I love it here. Great stuff. What, what, what's the most um, attractive aspect of playing golf at Phoenix? Um, first of all, I've got to say the people. Yeah. Never mind the golf, the people here are so welcoming. Um, yeah. And the staff here and everyone we get looked after really well. But the golf course, um, I like the greens. I mean, they're, they're grainy, but they're not too grainy. Um, I feel like I put quite well around here. Yeah. I didn't put that great today, but um, yeah, I think the greens are what I enjoy around here. Last year they were a lot firmer, this year a lot softer. So playing a little bit easier, as you can see, the scores are a bit lower this year. Okay, great. Then. It's really good here to be standing next to Noemi Jimenez uh, Martin, who today has shot, what's for today? Even par. Even par, mm -hmm. which makes you two under for the uh, championship. Yes. Now, you were here last year. Mm -hmm. I was, yeah. and, and what did you finish on last year? Last year, uh, I don't know how much uh, over par I finished, but it was more than what I'm doing right now. So I'm, I'm really pleased how I'm playing this year, and hopefully tomorrow I'll have a good round. Yeah, you are having a good year in the, in the European ranking, mm -hmm. aren't you? Yes. And, and where are you ranked at the moment? I'm ranked uh, 27 at the moment, yes. So for you, tomorrow, a good day, could yes. see you actually pushed up that table. Yes, exactly. Great. We'll see, we'll see. And just talking about being here at Phoenix Gold, you know, you obviously enjoyed it last year. The mm. golf course suits you. So what is it about the golf course that suits your, your game so much? Well, you know, I like playing in the heat. Uh, this course is uh, really nice. The greens are fast. I love, I love fast greens. Uh, they're hard. Uh, I feel like this year it was a little bit shorter than last year, but the greens were exactly the same. They were fast and, and quick, and that's, I mean, just the environment. The people smiling all the time. The the people here in the golf club are amazing, and I'm really having it. Delighted to have with us uh, Maria Plathios from Spain. And Maria has had a great week, and after the second day at some time, I think she was top of the leaderboard. Currently, Maria, you are standing at what score? Uh, two under. Two under par. Yeah. And this has been a brilliant week for Maria because she's ranked, I think, 107th in Europe. Yeah. Okay. Which, which shows a tremendous effort to rip up the form book and come here and still be in the top 10 to 15 golfers. So first of all, Maria, congratulations on the great week. Thank you. Is this your first time you've played at Phoenix Gold? Yes, first time. And first time in Thailand. First time in Thailand. <laughs> and how have you found the golf course here? Well, it's great. It's been great condition. It's uh, great weather. Too hot, maybe. Too hot, maybe. <laughs> Too humid. <laughs> Too humid. But now the golf course is great. It's a good layout. It's, uh, it's perfect. And um, in terms of um, the clubhouse and the facilities, uh, ha have you enjoyed being here for, for those? Yeah, the you know, clubhouse is, is really big, it's, uh, the, the lounge is really nice, the food, yeah. obviously. Yeah. And even the lockers are great. Uh, like, everything is very big, and it, oh, like, it's great. Yeah. to have with us Sarah Kemp and Sarah currently is standing number two in Europe and after today's round you stand at even par even par for the tournament yes. and this is your first visit to Phoenix correct first time first time and first time playing competitively in Thailand no I played a couple of tournaments here before so it's a no-brainer to come back I absolutely love it great stuff and, and what are you and what are your impressions of, of the golf course uh, it's fantastic uh, it's quite tricky, you've got to keep it on the fairway, uh, the greens roll really nicely, um, so it's in good condition and it's um, hopefully I can make some more birdies tomorrow and, and go get it. Great stuff. Has there been a lot of change in the condition of the course from the first round to the third round? Uh, not really, no. It's played pretty consistently. Uh, the greens are quite firm, so you've got to be wary where you bounce it. Um, just short, is a little bit soft, so it's a bit tricky to judge, uh, but no, it's remained pretty consistent. 
And in terms of consistency, you have been consistent this week over three rounds. I have, yes. Uh, I'd like to, yeah, probably trend in the, the other direction of lots under par tomorrow would be really nice, but Absolutely. yeah, it's nice to at least be consistent. Definitely. And what do you think you are capable of tomorrow? If everything goes to plan. Well, I probably need to go and do some practice. Uh, I haven't been hitting many fairways, so if I could hit some more fairways, um, I could probably see, you know, maybe a four or five under. So, but yeah, I'm going to need to hit more fairways than I do. Great stuff. Sarah, thank you so much for giving up your time. I know how busy you are. <laughs> and I just hope we see you again back here in 2019. I'll be here. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. It's really good here to be standing next to Noemi Jimenez uh, Martin, who today has shot, what score today? Even par. Even par, mm -hmm. which makes you two under for the uh, championship. Yes. Now, you were here last year. Mm -hmm. I was, yeah. and, and what did you finish on last year? Last year, uh, I don't know how much uh, over par I finished, but it was more than what I'm doing right now. So I'm, I'm really pleased with how I'm playing this year, and hopefully tomorrow I'll have a good round. Yeah, you are having a good year in the, in the European ranking, mm -hmm. aren't you? Yes. And, and where are you ranked at the moment? I'm ranked uh, 27 at the moment, yes. Yeah. So for you, tomorrow, a good day could yes. see you actually pushed up that table. Yes, exactly. Great. We'll see, we'll see. And just talking about being here at Phoenix Gold, you know, you obviously enjoyed it last year. The golf course suits you. So what is it about the golf course that suits your, your game so much? Well, you know, I, I like playing in the heat. Uh, this course is uh, really nice. The greens are fast. I love, I love fast greens. Uh, they're hard. Uh, I feel like this year it was a little bit shorter than last year, but the greens were exactly the same. They were fast and, and quick, and that's, I mean, just the environment. The people are smiling all the time. The, the people here in the golf club are amazing, and I'm really having a, a great time. Okay, great. And, and can you tell us the food? How do you how do you get on with the food here? Well, I love the mango and the pad thai here, so that's what I'm eating every day, basically. Uh, maybe some uh, chicken with cashews. Uh, so that's I really like the food here. It's nice. Yeah. Have you worked out your top score in two years of being here? What's been your top score here? Your top round? Your best round? Uh, two under. So hopefully tomorrow will be less than that. I was going to actually say to you what you're hoping for tomorrow, but you've actually answered that. Yeah. I'd just like to say thank you so much for giving up your time and all the very best for tomorrow. And it would, would be great if you came back for a third time next year. Yeah, it would be nice. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank Good you. luck. Excited to be standing here on the practice green at Phoenix Gold Golf and Country Club and be speaking to Luisa Altman, who is from Brazil. Yes, indeed. <laughs> now tell me, Luisa, can, can you uh, tell everyone how old you are? I am 20 years old. 20 years old, and uh, Luisa is the only uh, competitor that we have this week who comes from Brazil. So in order to come from Brazil, that would take a bit of a journey, but I don't think you'd have come direct from Brazil. No, I actually played in... Um... LETX event before here. Yes. So it was a bit shorter flight. Yeah. But still a long way. Okay, great stuff. Way home. Now you're here with your mother as caddy. Now did did she um, join you uh, caddying for you in Europe before coming across? Yes, she did. Actually, my parents just moved back to Brazil. Yes. We used to live together in Orlando. Yeah. And for the past month, they moved back to Brazil, and my mom said, well. I have to go back to Brazil, and I said, okay, I'm going to Europe to play my tournament. And so she said, okay, I'm coming with you. So here she is. Uh, we've been together for the last four tournaments. Yeah. She's been caddying and rooting for me and supporting me all the way, which I cannot be more thankful for. Of course. And do you listen to all of her advice on the golf course? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep this between us. Yeah, okay, like. great stuff. <laughs> right, now in, in terms of your golf, you've had experience of college golf in, in, um, in, in America. Yes. And this is your mm. rookie season on the European Tour. Exactly. Okay, great. I always wanted to turn pro right after high school. Yes. And so the University of Miami offered me to graduate early from high school yes. and play for their team for a semester. So it worked out really well. I got to see what college life was like. Loved it, had a great experience, 
but pro golf is my life. Yes. And so I turned pro uh, three months ago, four months ago. Yeah. And now I study online. Yeah. So I have to manage both when traveling and playing and still studying. Yeah. But I wouldn't want to do anything else in my life. Oh, it, it does seem like you are living the life. <laughs> um, in terms of playing here this week, um, quite clearly you're having a great time. First of all, what, what do you think of uh, the golf course here? The golf course was in perfect condition. Yeah. Since the practice round and through the tournament day, greens, fairies, everything. And you can see as you walk on the course, the people, the volunteers, the workers, yeah. making you feel welcome. Yeah. Making you have a better experience. Yeah. It's just unbelievable. I love it here. So from here, you'll be flying to Europe, back to Europe. No, I'm going to Orlando after this. Right. I have a few weeks break. I'll play on some semester events. Yes. And then I'm back on European tour and hopefully come back to Thailand to play again. And when do you hope to return, return to Thailand? Uh, in September, actually. September, so. For the so Thai Masters. For the Thai Masters. So, you've obviously fallen in love with the country. <laughs> Indeed. And the golf club. <laughs> Everything about it. Great stuff. Well, I think all, all that's left for me to say is just to wish you your best with your studies and also your golf. It's a real tough ask as a rookie coming here and playing golf on this golf course. And I think you handled it brilliantly. And I'm sure when you come back in September, you will shoot some great rounds. I hope so. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. to be joined here by Olivia Cowan who's just finished her third round this morning. Olivia, can you tell us what you scored this morning? One under this morning. One under this morning, so now you are? One under total. One under total. You played here last year. Yeah. How did you finish last year, your end score? Um, I'm not sure what the end score was, but I finished in the top 10, I think, or maybe just outside, 12 or something. So the setup here at Phoenix suits you quite nicely. Yes, I really like the course. The greens are in better condition than last year, so they're a bit softer, so it's nicer to play. Um, but yeah, overall, the course is really good. How do you find the uh, pavilion? Because it is quite a big clubhouse, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> After the round, when you have to go up all those steps, it's a <laughs> bit, but it's really nice. Okay, good. After this round today, and well, sorry, after the round tomorrow and this tournament's finished, where, where's your next tournament? Um, my next tournament will be the Scottish. Scottish Open, yeah. British Open, hopefully the European Team Championships. And at the moment you are ranked, is it 11th or 10th in Europe? 10th. 10th. Do you have any um, um, hopes for, for uh, the end of the year? Uh, yeah, obviously I'd, I'd like to win a tournament. Um, I've been playing really good all year, so um, I hope it comes this year. And um, just to hopefully, obviously the goal is to win the order of merit as well. Yeah. But um, if I finish top 10 in the order of merit, or top five would be amazing, but if I finish top 10, that would be good as well. Okay, great stuff. You obviously liked coming here last year. Name me one thing about Thailand that you love so much that made you come back. So cheap. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very cheap to like uh, live here, which I think is really cool because like you have that nowhere in Europe or wherever. Yeah. So it's like it's there are worlds between them. Um, but I love the country anyway. It's one of my favorite Asian countries. Yeah. I love coming back. All the people are so nice. Um, the weather is amazing. And yeah, I just love Thailand. Okay, great stuff. It's just for me to say thank you so much, you know, taking time out to, to speak to us. And we hope we will see you again here next year. I'm delighted to be joined this afternoon by Amy Baldwin from North Wales. And Amy's just finished her third round this year, having played here last year. First of all, Amy, thank you so much for giving your time to, to uh, speak to us. And uh, congratulations, because out there is not easy today, is it? No, it's, uh, it was tricky out there. The greens seemed to be a little bit firmer today than yesterday and the, last, the day before that. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying the sport. I love it here. Great stuff. What, what, what's the most um, attractive aspect of playing golf at Phoenix? Um, first of all, I've got to say the people. 
never mind the golf, the people here are so welcoming um, yeah. and the staff here and everyone we get looked after really well. But the golf course, um, I like the greens. I mean, they're, they're grainy, but they're not too grainy. Um, I feel like I put quite well around here. Yeah. I didn't put that great today, but um, yeah, I think the greens are what I enjoy around here. Last year they were a lot firmer, this year a lot softer. So being a little bit easier, as you can see, the scores are a bit lower this year. Okay, great. Then. In terms of what you're hoping for tomorrow, what score would you like to post tomorrow? Um, I'd like to get in the 60s, yeah. first of all. Um, yeah, I mean, I need to shoot a low one to, to try and get like top 15, really. Um, but I mean, I'd like to shoot four five under tomorrow, finish on a bit of a high. I shot one over today and I felt like I played better than the last two days, even though I shot one over yesterday. Um, but yeah, I need, I need to hold a few cuts tomorrow, hit it in close and take advantage of the power fires. In 2017, you recorded the best score out here, in the, I think it was in the second round, a 67. Yeah. How would you compare that to this year? If you can hit 67 last year, what could you hit playing a similar form tomorrow? Um, I think there's 65s out there. Um, I think a girl shot it yesterday, yeah. and I think it is out there this year. Um, I just not, I don't feel like I've played the par 5, I've not taken advantage of them. Um, my wedge game's not been quite on point this week, so you really need to take advantage when you've got a wedge in, the, wedge in your hand. Which do you think is the most difficult hole on the golf course? Um, four's tough. Four's tough just because it's a little bit, well sometimes it's into and sometimes it's down, but it's off the right and you've got four or five iron in your hand for very firm green. Yeah. Although it's the hole I think I'm playing the best this week, right. which is interesting. Um, another hole that's pretty difficult is, I think the seven's tough for par five. Yeah. It's a hole that you're trying to make dirty, but yeah. I don't know what it is about that hole. It's I think I'm, I'm one over for that hole. Yeah, so that's seven on mountain. It, it does it does kill a lot of people. Yeah, I don't know. The, the tee shot's obviously tight, but you want to hit drive if you want to get up in two. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, I had three iron rescue in my hand today, and it just kind of like dies at the yeah. end, and it doesn't yeah. quite get up. It hits me up slope, and I, I don't know. It's just a difficult hole for me visually. Amy, I'd just like to thank you. But for you know being so kind with your time no and um, I know you want to try and recover before tomorrow yeah. and, and all I can say to you is uh, Chok D Mac which is <laughs> in Thai I think it is the best of luck for you tomorrow oh.